Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Late Sunday night, Kirby Smart, the Georgia Bulldogs, make another hire going out to Georgia Tech and landing next running backs coach Josh Crawford. And this is a guy that you're going to read the message boards. You're going to read on Twitter. A lot of people are not going to be a fan of this hire because he's coming from Georgia Tech. You'll see some opposing fans take their shot at the Georgia Bulldogs. You look at this hire, you take a little bit of a peek under the under the hood, so to speak, in terms of this hire. This is another box checking hire for Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs. You take a look at Josh Crawford. Not only does he have a very impressive resume in terms of what he's done as a coach at the college football level, you're looking at a massive asset on the recruiting recruiting trail in the state of Georgia. And you lose guys like McGee and McClendon, guys who really recruited the state of Georgia well. You bring in Josh Crawford, who's coached at Jefferson County, at Colquitt County, at Valdosta. This is a guy that's been all over the state recruiting at the high school level. Kirby Smart wants to bring a presence like that into the coaching staff, and that is exactly what Josh Crawford brings to the table. I think another hire that is sneaky good. And again, when you win like the Georgia Bulldogs, you're going to get your assistant coaches poached away. One thing that made Nick Saban so great is he was able to rehire really, really good coaches. Kirby Smart showing that same ability. Want to get into Josh Crawford. Talk a little bit about what he brings to the table for this next running backs coach position. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it has been a blast talk in this program. We just talked about James Cole yesterday morning as the next wide receivers coach. Y'all know I love talking about this program. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And more importantly, would love to hear how you guys are feeling about this hire. And without further ado, late Sunday night, let's get into Josh Crawford. And I first want to kind of talk about the two boxes that you want to see Kirby Smart or Kirby Smart wants to see checked with his position coach hires. And I think a prerequisite to coming coach at the University of Georgia is you have to get it done on the recruiting trail. Right, We talked about James Coley. Yes, you might have question marks about James Coley, him being an offensive coordinator, him running an offense. Those question marks are certainly warranted, but James Coley on the recruiting trail is one of the best in the business. Josh Crawford, I think, is a emerging star on the recruiting trail. Right, You haven't necessarily seen him do it on the recruiting trail because he's been at Western Kentucky and Georgia Tech. Not the easiest places to recruit to. But this is a guy that you look at their bread and butter. How does Georgia want to build their roster? They want to build it in the state of Georgia. And you look at losing guys like McGee and guys like McClendon, two guys that really carried a lot of weight in state. You went out and got James Coley, a guy that's going to get it done in South Florida. You wanted more of an Atlanta presence. Josh Crawford's going to give you that presence again, where he's been at the high school level, Jefferson County, Colquitt County, Valdosta. I know a lot of Georgia fans – follow the high school trail. They follow high school football very closely. Some of the most talented teams that you see in the state of Georgia, you talk about making sure you're checking that box in terms of recruiting that state. I think Josh Crawford certainly checks that box. Now, what I think flies under the radar, and a lot of people are going to kind of label this maybe a solely recruiting hire. And although I do think that's a massive kind of box that I think Kirby wanted to check in this hire, Josh Crawford has done a phenomenal job as a position coach as well. Going back to his time at Western Kentucky in 2022 was the wide receivers coach and co-offensive coordinator to an offense where Austin Reed threw for 4,700 yards, 40 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. They had three separate wide receivers go for 800 plus yards. Josh Crawford was in the running for that wide receivers coach position. They end up going with James Coley, but from the reports that you hear, he impressed Kirby Smart so much that they said, all right, we're going to hire you as the running backs coach. And yes, he spent his college career up to this point coaching wide receivers. He's played running back at the college level. So this is a guy that probably feels more at home coaching running backs than he did at wide receiver. But at the end of the day, He's got a very strong track record in terms of what he did at Western Kentucky and what he did at Georgia Tech. So I think he's going to be, one, a phenomenal football coach. Kirby Smart's not going to bring you in if he doesn't think you're a good football coach, but more importantly, a massive asset on the recruiting trail. You are seeing Georgia really kind of extend that gap, if you will, in terms of the talent acquisition. Kirby Smart understands this just about as much, 
probably as much as any coach in the country in terms of college football. It's a talent acquisition game. You have to make sure that you have talent coming into your program. And Kirby Smart builds his staff around making sure you're bringing in that talent. And I think both James Coley yesterday and Josh Crawford today both signify Kirby's commitment to building really strong high school recruiting classes, bringing in those top classes every single year and getting those guys developed. At the end of the day, you're going to see a lot of people take their shots at the Georgia Bulldogs. One, because you don't get many opportunities to take your shot at Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs. But number two, because he's coming from Georgia Tech, if I'm a Georgia fan, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at a guy that's only been in college coaching for three years going into his fourth year, and he's already risen up to be a position coach at the University of Georgia. This is a guy that has earned it at Western Kentucky. He goes to Georgia Tech, does a phenomenal job, was a very well-respected high school coach as well. I really like this pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs. I think you're going to see it pay immediate dividends on the recruiting trail in the state of Georgia. Really excited about this hire. Wanted to hop on, give you guys some of my thoughts, some of my opinions on this one. If you guys, if you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later.